A lot of these fish are just coming off the spawn. It's a really touchy bite. Really, really touchy bite. We seen that last night while we were doing a little bit of uh, power fishing. For a little while, we were out a couple hours to feel out what the bite was like. You know, and you're quickly seen tons of empty beds. You know, so the smallmouth are just coming off it. And they can be really weird when they're, when they're like this. Some of these deeper fish, you, you know, they look pretty clean. The shallower fish like this. Oh, that's a good one. You, you know, this is a good one here, Ryan. You know, the water temperature has dropped, Dale. Look at it that. dropped from 66 to 62. I don't know what that's from last night. Yeah, just, just, see, these fish are kind of cleaner fish here. Oh, just look, look at that little tub. Whoa, whoa, she just threw something across, it looked like. Yeah, some of them, are, you, you'll see some of them are pretty beat up. This fish is not. Look, she's starting to eat again. I just got back from Florida about a week ago, and he's already got me out in weather like this. I'm not even, my blood isn't even used to this. You know, like I was say, it's, uh, saying earlier, you're always adjusting the local weather and water conditions, you know, and that dictates the mood of, of the fish. You could take a neutral fish and shut them down like we've seen this bad front to uh, uh, pass through yesterday, real unstable conditions. Yeah, you know, uh, a heavy fishing pressure, you know, barometer changes, all of these things take a, a neutral fish and turn them into a, a negative fish or a positive fish that goes both ways. So you're adjusting to the mood of the fish. Today we're using the best tough bite baits I know of. Number one is a four inch Trigger X tube rigged on a BMC Dominator Half Moon jig head. Head weight is vitally important in these conditions. Today we're using a 1 16th to a 3 32nd ounce head. These light heads have a slow drop speed that forces you to fish slow. Another great dead sticking bait is a five inch Trigger X flutter worm Texas rig with no weight or rigged on a really light jig head. The real key to these baits is the slow drop speed and literally letting them sit on the bottom around the best long enough to coax a bite. I mean, it's been incredible, Ronald. It, it, I'm actually starting to get warm and want to crawl out of this did deal. Yeah, you, you know, we're standing at the dock getting ready to come out this morning. We waited about two hours. You know, what are we going to do? It's cold, it's rainy, it's windy. Yeah, you know, we spent a little bit of time thinking, are they still going to be in a jerk baits like they were yesterday? But we knew we were going to deal with a negative. So we made some adjustments. Naturally, we had soft baits with us. and. Uh, a dead stick in Trigger X was the answer for today. But the thing that I really want to encourage you to do is keep an open mind. Understand that weather patterns, local weather and water conditions like rising water, lowering water, uh, wind, lack of wind, local weather and water conditions have a huge impact on the fish. What they do, the mood of the fish. Take the time to understand your body of water understand that fish sometimes are negative, sometimes they're neutral, sometimes they're positive, and that determines the kind of lures you have to use and the way you fish them. And no matter what the weather conditions are, you can generally put some fish in a boat. In spite of horrendous changes today, we really had a good day.